Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Jay Holloway. Today, we're going to be discussing a fairly new fragrance by Diptyque. It is called Le Papier. And this is a sample. So, in the email, they were like, it is like a fresh, clean piece of paper. Sounds good. Sounds promising. And that is where the curiosity began for me. So, Leo Papier is considered to be in the woody family. It has notes of white musks, rice steam, mimosa, and blonde wood. So, this is an eau de toilette. And, of course, you get it and you spray it. And with this, it is a musky, slightly Latonic, creamy scent. Now, <laughs> as it sits on the skin, it slightly reminds me of cereal. Like sweet cereal that you kind of stir and you want all of the pieces to get coated with the milk. That is what this gives me. Now, this isn't my first time smelling it, but when I first got the sample and smelled it, I got the like, tonic vibe. Then I got like a slight hint of cocoa. And then it dried to like this woody skin scent. What it kind of reminds me of is like a slightly spicier Glossier U. If you are the type that likes skin scents or uh, like those clean musky scents, Le Papier is going to be for you. I like the idea of it. It reminds me of this Scent from Bath and Body Works from way, way, way back in the day. It was like a rice. It had like this very, very light brown gel because it was a shower gel. And it was like so clean and like musky. That's what this reminds me of. So will I be getting a full bottle of this? No, I have plenty of powdery, plenty of musky scents, plenty of clean scents. This is not a bad scent. I think I'm just getting to the point in my collection where I don't want to do redundant scents anymore. Unless it's a floral. <laughs> but I actually like this. Now it's getting slightly peppery. And clean. Like peppery and clean. A weird combo. But this is really nice. I would highly recommend. But yeah, that is my slight review on Le Papier by Diptyque. Please like, comment, subscribe, share if you care. And stay tuned for more scented content.